What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we are back with another video. Now today we have something extremely crazy. It is one of the craziest things that I've ever seen in Brawl Stars, and we are going to be showing you guys a 1700 Primo. Now, before we get into the games, now this is this has never been done. Nothing like this has even been close to done. This is by far the Primo record, and I don't think it's going to be beaten for a very long time. Now, it was done in Solo Showdown, and it was done with teaming as well. We're going to show you guys some of the games, but before I get into it, I just want to say, you know, I don't really appreciate teaming. I'm fake Tom trying to play. I don't like teaming. I don't endorse teaming. Um, but I do want to show you guys how this was done, how this was possible, because this is something very rare in Brawl Stars, and it's something that is not going to be done very often, so I want to share it with you guys, because it seems like no one else has done so yet. Now, without further ado, we're going to hop into the games, and I'm going to show you guys how this was done. Alright, so here we go, hopping into the first game on Feast and Famine, or uh, Feast or Famine. Now, this is the first time I'm actually watching it. I asked Mr. Stian for a few tips of how he did it, and although there is teaming, there is a certain amount of, like, skill and just really cool level to this that's actually pretty hard to do so you guys can tell he goes straight to the middle he's spinning he's clearly teaming with that bb over there um so he's going to be able to get bolts or not bolts sorry i always call it bolts he's going to be able to get those boxes straight off the bat he's got seven power-ups he's going to be going for that leon it's going to be a fake leon so what he said his tips were was to try and avoid the brawlers that counter him the most so he's trying to avoid that shelly you guys saw a b on the left side he's going to be avoiding that b and avoiding that max He's not going to leave the grass too often unless he's just going to spin at somebody. He really just, you know, is trying to make friends. And he does have some people in the game, I believe, maybe that might be trying to help him. I don't think that that's, you know, too common. I don't think that that's actually a thing. I think he's more or less kind of just teaming with everybody and trying to play this properly. So obviously there's that Mortis. He's trying to have those good pinches, but you guys can tell straight off the bat what he did was just get as many power-ups as possible. But he also did it in a safe way. He didn't just go to the middle. He made sure that nobody else would even be close to that so he can get the kill now it looks like he's teaming up with that uh with that bull over there i don't know if it's somebody he knows i don't think so i think just now when you team what you do is gain super off of each other which is a little bit cheese i don't really like that too much he's gonna get his super off the bull he's teamed with the bull teamed with the shelly and now he's just gonna go in and be as aggressive as possible he goes into the grass he's just gonna try and own that grass he's already teamed up with the bb teamed up with the shelly teamed up with the bull which are brawlers that can take him out. I think he's trying to let the BB hit him. I'm not sure. But you guys can tell he's just lurking in the grass. You know, he's doing his thing. There is a B that he's probably as scared of and is going to be avoiding for majority of the game. But he's just going to be chilling in that grass, teaming. He wants the BB to hit him. He's teamed up with that Shelly. There is one brawler left in the game that he is currently not teamed with, which is going to be that B. And he's going to spin and team with it as well. So all five of the remaining brawlers, so four of them not including him, he is 100% teamed with. I don't even know how this game is going to end. I don't know how these games even do end. It looks like they're just going to pick on that Shelly over there, which is kind of sad. I don't know what Mr. Cena is doing. He's kind of just chilling. I don't know how Showdown really works. He's kind of just vibing near that bull, which is kind of wild. He throws that bull over himself, which is actually a really cool strategy. Bull's going to go down, and then I guess it becomes kind of like an all-out war. He's just chilling in the middle, kind of just teaming with everyone still. Um, just spinning, but yeah, he's gonna throw that BB. He's gonna be able to cause a fight between them with the throws And then mr. Cena is just gonna be able to easily take them out and that is going to be the first game Let's hop into the next one and let's keep going Okay, so going into the next game It's going to be I think this map's called stormy plains or skull creek I don't know. I don't really know the showdown map names showdown is not a real mode I refuse but anyways, he's gonna be able to pick up that kill it looks like yes He's gonna be able to pick up that kill on the Leon and he's going to be able to pick up those boxes. Okay, showdown's a real mode. I don't want to anger anyone. I'm just not good at it. I'm trash at it, so I say it's not a real mode. Uh, but Mr. Cena's just going to be chilling. He's going to be knocking out all those skulls. The skulls are kind of annoying. There is a BB right there that he decides he's going to team with. He's going to open the boxes, get them both. And you guys can see every single game, an observation that I'm making is he is the most power-upped brawler. So he's the strongest brawler out of the bunch. And it looks like he's just spinning with everybody. When you're a primo and you have a lot of power-ups, people want to team with you. It's really easy to get those original power-ups because you can kind of just hide behind the boxes and juke your way. But you have so much HP that you can tank a couple shots and just get those power-ups and steal them from other people. So again, he's just walking around the map. He's spinning, throwing up, you know, these... what I don't even know. These pins and it's... I guess this is just teaming. This is what Showdown has really come to at high trophies. He's just standing there punching a wall doing nothing. He's going to save his super. His super is really important. If he has his super, he can basically kill any brawler in the game. I actually think he can kill anybody, any brawler in the game if he just jumps on them and stuns them. He's letting Bull get his super so that Bull gains trust. 
I don't really know what this max is doing. I don't really know how Showdown works. I haven't played in a while, but if this is how Showdown is at Top Cups, I think they definitely need to change this up. But he's just spinning, doing his thing. It looks like there's five brawlers on the screen that are all teamed up. So there are two other brawlers that are not. It appears one is a spike and then one of them might be a crow, it looks like. So I would assume the next two brawlers going down would be Spike and Crow as everyone else is teamed up. The Max over there on the top right is just chilling. But yeah, Mr. Cena is kind of just doing his thing, standing in the middle. Nobody's shooting at him because he's teamed with everybody. It looks like the Crow has gone down. Um, the Spike goes over to pick up that power up. And I mean, Mr. Cena is just spinning again. And I don't really know. I think what happens is eventually he just throws somebody and then beef just happens. People start fighting. It looks like that's what's going to happen there. I guess not. I guess he was just throwing for fun. Now, all six people are teamed, so it's a very interesting situation. Something that you notice is that he's never the first one to attack the next person. He's always just chilling, being friendly with everybody, and just kind of relaxing. That spike is going to go crazy, and that's going to kind of like start the fight. There's always just one guy who initiates the fight, but it looks like that Max might go down. He is going to go down. He's going to go for that throw play, and I think Beef is just going to ensue now. He's just going to chill. He's going to go for the jump. He jumped into the heels for a reason. Now he's just throwing people, jumping around. That's going to be a really easy win for Mr. C and I. We're going to move on to our third and final game. Now, moving into the final game, I know that these games are that this video, sorry, was really short and that there's only three, but this, there really isn't that much content to cover here. It's kind of him just spinning in the middle of the map and breaking boxes. And I'm not a huge fan of this gameplay. Again, Mr. Cena is a cool guy. I thank him for sending me this gameplay. I just don't think, you know, spinning in Showdown is too epic of an achievement. Um, even though 1700 Primo, don't understate it, is one heck of a grind. He played this game a ton. He grinded this game a ton. It is very hard and next to impossible to get this big. So I don't want to undermine his achievement because it is a lot of grind hours and I respect that. But the way he got it, I'm not the biggest fan of. But anyways, he seems he's going to be chilling. He wasn't able to get all the boxes that he wanted. He probably looked like he wanted to get more boxes. And I don't know if this is just a thing in Showdown now, but it looks like every game is just him being able to spin, putting up that smiley face, and just teaming. He's going to get a super off of that... Uh, off of that primo he's just going to spin with it he's going to get his super he's going to thank him for getting that super do a little bit of a spin so he's already teamed with one person there is a tara in a bush now that tara is kind of scary um he'd probably just try and team with that tara tara's hitting a few shots on him it looks like he's trying to show that he's going to team like he does every game um i don't know if that tara is too big of a fan of teaming but you know every game i go into showdown i always feel like i come third because I always say I'm not going to team, I'm not going to team. And now I see why I'm coming third is because the entire lobby seems to be teamed up. And then there's always that one or two that don't team. And I feel like I'm always that one or two. But anyways, he's just going to be chilling, breaking a few boxes, doing his thing. Um, he's going to go into the middle, kind of just chill over there, flash his super. He wants people to always know where he, where he is. So people are always reminded that he is on their team. He is not shooting them. He's not sneaking on them. It looks like they're going to pinch this Daryl over here. He's not going to waste his jump. He will never waste his jump to get one kill because he's there. People are going to die eventually. And I think that's something that we, you know, come to learn over here. Um, he's just going to leave that Tara. He's going to say, OK, someone else can take care of that Tara. I got no worries. I'm just going to save my super for the end, save my throws for the end and just throw people out of the map or onto each other. But yep, yeah, seven people left. It looks like everyone is teamed at this point. That Poco is probably going to get turned on fairly soon because it has no power-ups and it's a Poco. Um, that Tara has seven but isn't really teamed with anyone, so it's in a pretty bad spot. Now, at this point, you know, Cena's kind of just chilling in a corner, not doing anything. It looks like beef is about to happen. I don't know why they didn't end up killing that Tara over there, to be honest, but it looks like... The beef has ensued, so he's just going to chill in there. He's going to jump on people. Same thing. He's going to throw people off the map, jump on people. And again, really easy first place for Mr. Cena. But anyways, that is going to end the video. So he's at 17.03 right now. Obviously, the primo record. I don't know how someone else has 15.01. But anyways, he's been popping off. So shout out to Mr. Cena. I'm going to leave his YouTube in the description below. But that's going to be everything for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, obviously, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, do all that. But that is going to be it. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. Peace.